Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what we're going to be doing in this video is evaluating this variable expression for these values here. Of course, you can see the problem. We have ABC minus ABC. What is this equal to given that A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 1, and C is equal to 3? Now, before you do this problem, I'd like you to think before you just start doing stuff. Now, what can I possibly mean by this? Well, I'll get to uh, that explanation in just one second because I want to give you a full opportunity to figure this out. Matter of fact, if you know how to do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully um, explain the problem and what I mean by think before doing. Of course, this is always good advice in everything we do. Oftentimes, I'll be the first one to admit I do a lot of stuff. I just rush to do things and I go, boy, if I would have just slowed down a little bit and thought, you know, I could have, you know, made my life, um, uh, you know, a lot easier. And that could be the case. Well, not could be the case. It often is the case, especially in mathematics. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. We have ABC minus ABC. Here are the uh, respective values for these variables. What is the answer? Well, the answer is zero. Wow, I mean, it's like pretty easy uh, problem, right? I mean, we got an answer of zero. Maybe you would expect something more uh, complicated, but this is an easy problem. And if you didn't get this right, don't feel bad because I'm going to explain uh, how to do this problem basically in two ways. One way is a little bit uh, kind of like the long path, and then we're going to talk about a shorter path. And hopefully you thought a little bit before doing this problem. But if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, a 100% and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to evaluate a variable expression and you understand the concept of like terms. Now, what are like terms? Well, I'll get into that in just one second, but let's go and get into the problem here because most of you looked at this problem and you said, okay, I have A, B, C. Now in algebra, what does A, B, C mean? Well, it means A multiplied by B multiplied by C. Okay, so that's what this means. And what are A, B, and C? Well, they are variables. They represent numbers. Now in mathematics and algebra, if you have what we call a variable expression, just something where a bunch of, you know, you have a bunch of variables and, uh, you know, some mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, maybe uh, multiplication, division, doesn't make a difference. That's called a uh, expression. So this is an expression. And what we're doing is evaluating. You'll hear that, you'll hear that word a lot, evaluate. And what evaluate means is, hey, take these values for A, so uh, B and C. So for A, for example, we have A is equal to 2, B is negative 1, and C is 3. You're going to basically plug in uh, these uh, for these variables, these respective values, and then you're going to go ahead and just do the uh, follow-on arithmetic to simplify to get one value. So if that's what you're thinking, well, you're on the right path. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, what we need to do from kind of this perspective, right? So we have ABC minus ABC. So anytime or where we see an A, we're going to plug in a 2. So we'll plug in a 2 right here. We're also going to plug in a 2 right, right here for that A. And then for B, we're going to plug in a negative 1. So you also got to plug in a negative 1 right here for that B. And then for C, you're going to plug in 3. And then uh, for this C, it's also going to be 3. So really, this is a game of just organization, kind of managing all this. I mean, we're kind of dealing with real basic numbers. I'm kind of assuming that you understand positive and negative numbers. So if you do, then, you know, you don't need your calculator. Just plug in these values and kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so here we got A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 1, C is equal to 3. We're going to plug in for these respective values. A is 2, so you can kind of see I uh, kind of did this as a kind of a color coding here to make our life easier. B is just negative 1, so I got that negative 1 right there. C is 3, and we have 2 times negative 1 times 3. 
Now, ABC is 2 times negative 1 times 3, so this ABC over here will also be 2 times negative 1 times 3, and of course, we're subtracting one from the other, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this work. So 2 times negative 1 times 3 is what? Well, this is going to be 6 times, a positive 6 times negative 1, which of course will be negative 6. So we have negative 6. This is also negative 6, so we're going to have negative 6 minus a negative 6. So what is that equal to? Well, negative 6 minus negative 6. And of course, I'm using these brackets right here. Brackets are the same thing as parentheses. But right here, you need to understand that a subtraction, what we have is the opposite of a negative. All right. So in other words, we can go plus negative, and this becomes all positive. All right. So this is something you need to really understand. For example, if I had 1 minus a minus 8, or 1 minus a negative 8, this is the opposite. You want to think of subtraction as also opposite. So 1 minus or the opposite of a negative 8 is the same thing as 1 plus 8. Okay, so you can't be confused by that. So what we have here is, um, let's just kind of go back right here. We're like, okay, this is subtraction plus negative. The opposite of a negative 6 is positive 6. So we have negative 6 plus positive 6. So negative 6 plus positive 6 is obviously 0. Okay, so if you approach the problem in this way and got, uh, got it correct, that's fantastic. And again, you definitely deserve your nice little happy face. Good job. But if you thought a little bit more about this problem, this is actually quite easy. So here is the problem. We want to know what this is equal to, right? We're going to evaluate this phrase. But really what we're doing is taking one thing and subtracting it from itself, okay? Anytime you subtract uh, something from itself, like seven minus seven, what's the answer? It's zero, okay? If you have uh, X minus X, the answer is zero. So uh, hopefully you said, oh, well, it's this thing subtracting from its, itself, so the answer is zero. We didn't have to do all this plugging in and number crunching. Now, if you did it that way, that's perfectly fine because that's typically what you do when you're evaluating variable expressions. But you want to understand that these are like terms. In other words, uh, this this right here is a you know just a copy of this right A B C. So like terms. Let me just because I mentioned it, let's just kind of quickly review. So if I have two x plus three x in algebra. What you have here is 5x because 2x and 3x are like terms. And they're like terms because the variables are exactly the same and they have the same exponent. In other words, this part is exactly the same. So what you can do in algebra is just add the coefficients. 2 and 3, of course, is 5. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. Now, what if you had 2x uh, squared plus 3x? Now here, these are not like terms because these variable parts are um, different. Okay, they're very similar, but this one is x squared, this is x. So you, can, uh, you cannot combine these terms because they are not like. So here, for example, xy plus xy, this is 1xy plus another 1xy. These are like terms because these are exactly the same. So this is 2xy. Okay, and again, right here, A, B, C is uh, like with A, B, C. So you can subtract these uh, right here. It's just um, one thing. So you're basically subtracting from itself. So, of course, the answer is going to be zero. All right. So, again, you always want to think before you do anything in life, especially in mathematics. Hopefully, you found that quicker path. You're like, oh, you know, I'm just going to you know, put in zero. It's obviously zero. And, you know, if you didn't see that, that's, per, you know, don't feel so bad. As long as you got it right, that's, um, you know, really what counts. But again, the main point in this video is always kind of, you know, take a moment to pause, really look at the problem, think about, you know, are there different approaches to it before you start. Now, if you need help with evaluating variable terms and algebra and the like, let me give you a couple of recommendations. One, 
I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about anything and everything algebra, but if you need full course instruction in algebra, check out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course. Maybe you're in algebra two. This is kind of basic level algebra stuff, so probably you're looking at my uh, pre-algebra or algebra one course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.